Janny S. says, for an owner of a small business, what are the pros and cons of learning website design and coding versus hiring a developer to manage a website for the business owner? <coughs> oh, I'm going to say that again. For an owner of a small business, what are the pros and cons of learning website design and coding versus hiring a developer to manage a website for the business owner? Oh, the time you will save. That is the biggest, biggest thing of all when it comes to this. Um, web design and coding, if you like it, it's worth it because developers aren't cheap. Managers aren't cheap. You might be able to find a WordPress developer who's relatively inexpensive. It just depends on what it's worth to you. Uh, if you want to see how much money you're going to save, at the end of the day, that's going to be what you think it's going to be, whether it's going to be worth your time or not. But website design, if done correctly, depending on how much content you're going to be putting on your website, depending on how much you want to show up in Google search results, depending on how much content you're going to create, it is a very time-consuming process if it's done right. That being said, if it's a static page and you're not going to update it that often, you might as well do it yourself. That way, anytime you need to make any changes, you can just jump in there and do them yourself. Not a big deal. Uh, but if, you, if you're if you planning on massive expandability in this huge website undertaking, um, it's going to be very time-consuming. It's a very time-consuming process to learn the coding. So here would be my advice. If you're an entrepreneur and you're saying, okay, should I learn the language? Should I hire somebody to do it? The question is going to come down to this. First of all, one, how much of your business is going to be conducted on that website? Two, how long can you wait between that before that website gets updated? Three, how much are you willing to pay somebody to update that website regularly if it needs regular updates? Four, once the website's up, will it need regular maintenance? Most websites won't need a huge amount of maintenance, depending on what you're doing for your business. If it needs massive amounts of maintenance, then you want to make sure that you are a part of it. Once you've answered those four questions, then you you have to sit down and do evaluation. I need to focus on what makes profit for my business. I'm an owner of this company. I need to do what makes the company money. And if you start burning down all of your time building a website and managing a website, then it's probably not the best idea for you to be the web design, site designer because at the end of the day, you need to be making money so that the business can have profits so that you can pay yourself. So at the end of the day, that's really what it's going to come down to. Um, so it really depends on the type of business you're going to run for. So...